so what's going on guys i hope you're all good um yeah i wanted to do um a video on what bob aram said yesterday uh bob aram was talking about um uh khan crawford and he reported it on the boxing scene uh, and what uh bob aram said bob aram actually said that terence crawford shouldn't try to box with Amir Khan. He said that he doesn't feel that he should he should go in there trying to box. Now I don't know what he means by that because Terence Crawford's a world class boxer. That's what he does. He goes in the ring and boxes. He's not somebody that's known to go in there and blow people like go in there and be physically aggressive with guys. He breaks guys down with his boxing ability and skill. Now, if Bob Aaron wants him to go in there and have a, have a like a, a you know a, try to make it a tear up with Khan, right? Yeah, he might stand him a a great chance of landing something on Khan's uh, chin, but again, he puts himself in a very bad position, and he leaves himself exposed to being hit. I don't think that would be a particularly good idea for someone like. Um, Ter Ter Terence Crawford because that's not his style he just boxes and normally this is why I said I think this fight's a tough fight because Terence Crawford is used to being the naturally more talented guy he's used to being the naturally the, the guy that's more skilled the problem with, with this calm fight is that he may find himself in a position where that's not the case he might find himself in a position where he's being outboxed and that's not normal. That's not natural for Terence Crawford in his fights because Terence Crawford is normally the guy that's the one that's box outboxing the other guy. I don't think there's any guy that was really outboxing Crawford. You could say Gamboa was doing well, but Crawford's always been the guy that's been ahead on points. Here he might not be. And what Barbara is saying is right. Eddie Earn once said a while back, you have to have a certain style to beat Amir Khan. I don't know whether Terence Crawford has got that style. However, Terence Crawford has got a lot of layers to him. He has got a lot of dimensions to him, which may be able to get him over the line. Also, we don't know what Khan's got left as well. Is he the fight? Because I'm thinking of Khan when he fought Madonna, Judah, those guys. Man, like We don't know what Khan's got left from his last performance. He looked a bit dodgy to me. You know, and we can only go off his last performance because, he, you know, those fights that he had were a long time ago. But, you know, you would say that Khan's style is a nightmare for Crawford. But we just don't know what Khan's got left. Um, I think it's going to be intriguing. It's definitely going to be a great watch. But I do think, and I've not said this, I feel Bob Arum's worried. I, I generally do. I think Bob Arum's quite worried about this fight. I think Bob Arum, not worried, I think he feels Crawford will win the fight. But I think he's worried in the sense that I think he believes that he's got a bit more nerves for this fight. Then, you know, he's fighting Kroller and Lomachenko. I don't think he thinks Kroller can do anything to beat his guy. He's very confident Lomachenko is going to win that fight. However, with the Khan fight, I do feel that Bob Arum in the back of his head feels that Khan can outbox Crawford. And he's letting his opinions known. I, I think before he was trying to promote the fight. But I do think in the back of his mind, Bob is worried a little bit. I'm not saying he's having nightmares and stuff, but I do think he is worried about that Khan can outbox Crawford. And he's thinking that, you know, if Crawford goes in there trying to box with this guy, Khan's very good boxer, he'll put might outbox him. So he is a little worried. He is a little worried, of course, you know, because Khan's obviously a very skilled boxer. He knows how to box and he knows how to win rounds. So you need to be able to have the power to stop Khan and if Crawford's not able to hurt hit and hurt him he could find himself in big trouble you know because like I said Khan's very good at winning rounds and and boxing if you go 12 rounds and you're very good at winning rounds there's a great chance you could get the decision I do think it's going to be very difficult for Amir Khan to get the decision but nevertheless I do think that I, I do think that um you know, I I feel, listen, I, I think Crawford's obviously rightfully the favourite, but I think Khan can pull it off. And I think Bob Arum is showing now that he actually feels this is going to be a fight. I think Bob Arum thinks that this is going to be quite dangerous. And he's and he's right in saying that. It is dangerous. It definitely is. It's a hard, it's a hard, hard fight. It's not an easy fight. 
uh, guys, it's a tough, tough, it's a tough, tough fight. This Khan um, Crawford fight. I think people are overlooking Khan, but leave your thoughts, guys. Very interesting. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.